welcome back to our channel and in this video I'll show you how to create a very simple and incredibly effective animation for your logo. You can literally use any of your logos for this animation. It adds uniqueness and analog look, vintage look. It's incredibly simple, very easy to use and the most importantly absolutely free. So get ready and without further ado let's start to create this animation. So first you need to download this free program and it's called OC Render. It works for both Windows and Mac. But first, let's break down what this oscilloscope is. Simply put, it's a device that shows how a signal looks over time. It draws a moving line that uh, shows the stress of the signal and how it changes. This kind of visualization is exactly what we use to create our logo animation. So let's open OC Render. Now we have a window with animation options on the left side and the various settings and parameters on the right side, but we'll get back to them later. Let's hit pause by simply clicking on the window to stop the animation. Also to avoid hearing all the noise the program picks up, which it uses to generate the animation, I'll mute the audio. When you first open the program, it might sound loud and noisy, so just be aware of that. Now I'll add our logo, click choose file and simply upload it. If any effects are enabled, on the right side you can disable them. Now we see our logo and a bunch of random wave animations. You can use the slider on the left side to scale the media up or down. In the frame settings window we can adjust some, I think, important settings like threshold and stride. Move the sliders and find what works best for you today. If you don't like it, you can always come back and tweak it. Once that's set, go to the main settings by clicking the icon. Here you can adjust several, I think, really important options. When you first open the program, the screen overlay might show a graticule or other lines over your media or logo. I recommend choosing either smudged or simply empty, but today I'll just choose empty. Also, I set ambient light to zero so that only our logo is visible and some lines and make it easier to work with in After Effects or Premiere Pro. I like the persistence settings, it slows down the animation and adds a nice echo effect. I'll set it to around 1.8 or 1.9. Also I'll set focus to zero and glow to zero as well, but you can leave glow on if you want. I'll be adding it later in After Effects using basic glow effect or the deep glow effect plugin. Now we can just close this window. Let's look at the effects and controls on the right side. First is trace. To be honest, I don't really use it, but feel free to experiment. There is also a basic rotate control. What I like is that you can apply animation types to each property. Next is the ripple effect. I can't give you exact settings here. Just play around with the sliders and combine the values to get different animation styles. You can also animate parameters using the drop down menu. Honestly, just experiment like I did. Next is the wobble effect. It can completely change your media or logo with wavy lines and movement. There is also standard scale option to stretch your media on the X, Y and Z axis. You can move your object in any direction like left, right, up and down. There is the crazy delay decay and delay length settings. This can completely transform your media, make it unrecognizable. I love the way the stretch out lines look and I think it's really cool. Next is uh, Beat Crush. This works great for logos. It gives you a pixelated effect. If you max out the volume, it will turn your logo into just a line. Then we have a few more effects like Swirl, which twists your media or logo into the center. And also we have a smoothing. Smoothing looks amazing on logos as, as if it were shot with a real oscilloscope setup. It works fast and looks absolutely amazing. There are also other options you can explore. Just 
tweak some uh, parameters, play with it and just have a fun guys. You can also support the creator of this program. I think it's really amazing program and uh, it's really cool when you just can support the, the creator. It's insanely cool tool that gives you endless way to animate any logo or media. So you can just upgrade on premium and that's it. Now you need to just record your screen and play with some parameters. So I am recording this tutorial using uh, QuickTime on Mac. I can show you how to record your screen in this tutorial, but I hope you already know how to do it without me. So you just need to select the area and start recording your screen. Once you start recording your screen, you can move different indicators around and there is no perfect combination, I think. Just play around with it. At different animations, I literally recorded the screen for 5 minutes and moved different indicators and parameters. As I said before, I will use the smoothen effect for the logo animation. I'll move it from the maximum volume to the minimum. Next, you can combine different effects with each other and get just crazy animations. I will also set different parameters for Ripple. You can also randomly set and move the settings. In general, I think you understand me. If you're too lazy to select some different parameters and play with them, although it's incredibly interesting you can click on this random effects icon next to audio effects and of course there are crazy combinations that you can get in second just click every two or three seconds and that's it when you're done playing turn off the screen recording and go to after effects in after effects i have already imported our screen recording also i created a foggy composition Play the logo on the timeline and start to slice it up. Try different blending modes, mix and match. Usually I use uh, screen, lighten and uh, add blending modes. I speed up this tutorial, but I personally spent around 15, uh, 20 minutes playing around, uh, duplicating layers, trimming clips, changing blending modes, and it's super fun and even calming process. Honestly, I took a coffee and just played around with the animation, then tried to create a logical logo animation, but also you can skip the logic and just improvise. Once you're happy with the result, let's enhance the animation a bit more, create an adjustment layer and apply the sharpen effect. It will make the lines crisper and improve quality. I set sharpen to 20. Now you can add a glow, you can add the basic glow effect from After Effects, play around with the threshold and glow radius, you can get a pretty good result, but I think Deep Glow plugin looks much better than the basic effect in this situation. I will reduce the exposure and set the volume to 0.5 and the radius to 200. This is exactly why we turned off the glow effect in the OC render program. And here is what we got as a result. Honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. Just 10 or 15 minutes, a few tweaks, and you've got a killer animated logo. You can also change the colors using basic hue if you want, but I'm happy with it and how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments, it really helps us to make more useful and interesting videos like this one. See you in the next one, good luck!